Hello, I'm Danielle, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I want to spend a couple of, couple of videos um, reviewing and adding to uh, our study of Lushan Hara, uh, malicious gossip, tail bearing, um, mistranslated as slander, and you'll see in a minute why. The Rambam in Hilchus Deis uh, defines a holich rochel, um, uh, a talebearer, a baloshen hara, um, a malicious gossiper, a gossip monger, as one who maliciously spreads disparaging information about an individual. And um, this applies even if what he's saying is true. In English law, in the law that in the West we're used to, in order for a remark to be defamatory, it has to be untrue. Not so with Judaism. In Yiddishkeit, the fact that it's true is not a defense. As a matter of fact, in some cases, it makes it worse. Um, the Rambam goes on, and he says, um, one who speaks Lashon Hara uh, as a joke, he says it um, uh, innocuously, uh, without malice, is still viewed as touching on Lashon Hara, what we call Avak Lashon Hara, the, the dust of um, Lashon Hara. And it's uh, clear from the Rambam that unless one speaks Lashon Hara maliciously, out of hatred or dislike or some grudge against his victim, he does not transgress the biblical injunction against Lashon Hara. Uh, and we get some support from this uh, from of course, the, uh, the master of the subject of Lashon Hara, uh, and Shmiras um, Lashon, guarding your tongue, the Chofetz Chaim. Um, the Chochem, the Chochem, the, the, the Chaim considers Avak Lashon Hara, the dust of Lashon Hara. It's not exactly it, but it's getting close. That's being an, that, that is being an Isr Darbanan, a rabbinic prohibition. So, the paradigm, the, the prime example of uh, Lashon Hara in the Torah is Miriam, Miriam's slander um, against um, Moses. And we find uh, this mentioned in uh, the book of Numbers, chapter 12, verses 1, uh, and uh, in a throw in three as well. Miriam and Aaron spoke about Moshe, not to Moshe, spoke about Moshe regarding the Cushite woman he had married. Cush is uh, south of Egypt, either the extreme southern end of Egypt or what we now call uh, Ethiopia, what used to be called Abyssinia. Um, and it goes on in verse 3, now the man Moshe was exceedingly humble. And um, this is held by people as being the prime example of Lashon Hora, where a person is uh, punished by Tsaras. Tsaras mistranslated as leprosy. Tsaras is a physical affliction that has a spiritual origin, not a medical one. Not a, it's not a, a purely physical disease. It's a punishment. It's a, for a spiritual, uh, it's a spiritually induced form of leprosy. And um, this uh, example of Miriam um, talking Lashon Hara about uh, her brother Moshe um, it serves as a lesson to us all, to us all with respect to the effects of uh, slanderous speech. But if we analyze what occurred with Miriam, it seems that her her behavior doesn't exactly uh, coincide with the um, severity of the punishment. She spoke about her younger brother, whom she adored. Uh, she admired, she revered. This is Miriam, this is, uh, as a young girl, followed um, uh, the basket that Moses was in along the river um, when uh, Pharaoh's daughter uh, took him uh, and the, the servants took him out of the river. She came forth and suggested uh, that uh, she knew uh, a Hebrew woman uh, that would nurse the baby. This was an actual fact. Um, Moses' own mother. Um, she risked her life. Um, to save him from a certain death. Um, she didn't intend Moses any harm. 
in any way. And Moses certainly didn't uh, complain about it. Her error was what? Her error was in comparing Moses, her little brother Moses, to other great men and other prophets, not realizing that Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses, our teacher, was in a class all by himself. No other prophet had reached the level and the degree of intimacy that Moses had uh, with the Creator. And um, like I said, Moses certainly didn't harbor any complaints against his sister Miriam, but she still suffered from tsarafs, uh, a spiritual leprosy. How much more so should we uh, be concerned when we speak Lashon Hara, when we maliciously slander another person? We're going to be doing more videos on this subject. Please come back, please watch, please learn, and until next time, on behalf of the Morning Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.